Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hot Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is focusing on what might be the most popular Town Hall 9 attack strategy, that is the Stoned Hobo, and we're talking about the three important steps in any Stoned Hobo attack. You're gonna see it regardless of the little variations. These three key concepts are present in every Stoned Hobo attack. If you guys watch a little bit of TV, you might have seen the Sour Patch Kids uh, commercials. First they're sour, then they're sweet, then they're gone, I think is how it goes. This one, uh, if I can put my twist on it, for a Stoned Hobo attack like this, it would go, first it's wide, then it's narrow, then you support. Now, that might be a little bit confusing, but those are the three steps in a nutshell. So you start off wide, you have multiple golems. The stoned part of a stoned hobo attack implies three golems. So oftentimes it'll be three, but you can do two or even one situationally. But you start wide with your golems, you drop wizards all around. Now look, now it's narrow. He started off really wide, now he brought it in really narrow. You can see uh, just one stream of troops going in there, the king, uh, the queen, some wizards going up the gut at the base. Then here's the support. Where do you drop your hogs? To support your kill squad, take out the fences they miss, that they're tanking but can't quite reach, um, places where your kill squad won't go, stuff like that. Use the heal spell when the tanking is no longer happening, when the hogs are in a place that has traps or they're taking damage that is no longer being tanked by your kill squad. That's when you use the one heal that you, or possibly the two heals that you might have. So once again, we're gonna take a look at quite a few attacks today, so um, you'll hear it a lot. But first, start wide, then go narrow, then support with the hogs. It's that simple. And in this last war, also check out that Swag Battle Ram uh, by Yazbek here. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Um, swag in one Battle Ram. Pretty risky, but he did it in a CWL matchup. So uh, that's kind of funny. But anyway, moving on to the next attack here, Tom Bombadil. And this one, same principle. It's, it's, it's actually scary. If you go into these attacks... Um, look at the beginning and fast forward to when the kill squad's going in, you'll see it starts wide, it gets narrow, it's like crazy, it happens for every attack. Um, do it, you know, fast forward the video after you're done watching the entire thing, go back, fast forward it to those certain spots, you'll see the progression in every one of these attacks. So look how wide it is at first. And also a few hogs, because the golem's tanking, a few hogs, why not take out that Tesla farm? People always ask, what is too early to drop your hogs? When, it, How early is too early? There's, it's never too early if the hogs won't take damage. If the golems are tanking, dropping a few hogs that um, are being completely um, protected by tanking golems that are in the area, it's never too early. So don't drop hogs that are going to take damage um, and let, until your kill squad's pretty deep in the base. But hogs that are being tanked for, drop them as early as you want, especially if a Tesla farm pops, or if there's a few point defense that your kill squad might might not reach, drop the hogs early. Once again, they're supporting. So drop those support hogs where you need them to take out defenses that are being tanked. Then you kind of make your final assault on the base, especially if you have a heal spell, that's when you're gonna go after the defenses that aren't gonna be tanked, that's where you're going to use your heal spell. So I hope that makes sense. We have two more attacks to take a look at as Tom finishes up right here. Has a few loons and a few hogs left over it looks like. So nice attack there. Let's keep moving and let's keep seeing this thing in action. I believe this next attack we're going to take a look at is actually a little bit weird how it works out um, in terms of the kill squad. But the principles, again, do not vary. Start it off wide, then come narrow then support with hogs. I should have my own Sour Patch Kids commercial for Clash of Clans, that'd be a good idea. Although it only makes sense to about 0.5% of the player base. Okay, moving on, this one, um, once again, I think two golems, no, three golems again. Look how wide it is. Golems all the way across the side of the base, typically 90 degrees around the base. So that's one fourth of the base. If it's a square looking base like this one, that's one side of the base going to be completely taken out. The reasoning you do this, why do we do this? Well, you start off wide to get those flanking defenses, one, so your golems are tanking, nothing shooting in on the side and targeting the bowlers or the heroes or the wizards. 
That's one. Also, for funneling, you want your queen, you want your bowlers to go into the base. So starting off wide helps you clear out a nice second layer of funnel. Um, plug to my how to funnel bowlers into the base. It still applies even though I made it quite a while ago. Go check that out if you haven't already. It's about a 27-minute video on how to funnel bowlers into the base at any town hall level. Okay, the troops were narrow for sure, but for whatever reason, they all kind of went off in one direction and the CC and the Queen are kind of left over there with the Golemites and a poison spell. Uh, luckily, the Golemites tank long enough to kill the CC troops inside that poison spell, so that worked out nicely, but his troops exited the base. But look, he doesn't have a heal spell. He knows that, which is why he can't afford to send in hogs when they're not being tanked for. The untanked hogs are going to be if you have a heal spell. If you don't, you send them in as support hogs when the defenses are already being tanked. Not the best hog deployment, to be honest. Um, just kind of spamming them all in on that top archer tower. I would have liked to drop them on the tanked Teslas and stuff like that, but whatever, the, the, he has enough firepower to get through the base anyway. The important thing is he wasn't too trigger happy on the hogs. If you don't have a heal spell, don't drop them unless there's something tanking um, in most situations. Or if the defense, or if the base is kind of wrecked already, you can take on a few individual defenses with your hogs, especially if you have the numbers. But a good general rule to follow is wait for the tanking for the hogs unless you have the heal spell. Where do you drop them? You drop them in the areas your kill squad has missed, in areas that are being tanked, in areas that aren't going to go down in the immediate future of your kill squad. They might be just out of range, yet they're being tanked for nonetheless. So last attack here, notice how all of these tend to have 10 to 14 wizards. Um, that's important to start off wide. And here we go, wide funnel, getting that entire second layer uh, funneled out so his bowlers have nowhere to go but into the base here. I think a golem actually wraps around the base and I, it would have been a good idea to drop a few hogs down there, take advantage of that tanking golem, but luckily there's a wizard down there as well to at least get some value so the golem's not wasted down there. Um, coming in uh, with, not the hogs, hogs are still waiting on the hogs, still being patient. Um, there's the next jump. The kill squad's still doing fine. Doesn't want to deploy the hogs yet. Right now, it would have been a good time to deploy them, especially on the, on the top left. Yep, there he goes. Um, pretty good timing, maybe a tad bit late. But look, gets that wizard tower. Um, starting to take out these defenses while the golems are still in there. The expo's being tanked right now. Uh, Could have gone... Yeah, I guess the Teslas weren't tanked on the right side was the only problem. Waiting for that golem to step up. Actually, that's, that's a smart move. Waiting for the golem to tank, take out the expo, then step up. The timing works out nicely. The golemites are tanking as these hogs come in. So oftentimes it's going to be extreme patience. Other times you're going to drop those hogs, as you saw in like the first or second attack, you're going to drop those hogs as soon as before you even go narrow. While your, your golems are still spread out, if there's a tanking opportunity, sprinkle in one or two hogs, get some important defenses, especially Teslas if they pop, while the golems are tanking. It's all about taking advantage of tanking, but not being too early and not losing your hogs too quickly if they're not being tanked for and if they don't have the heal spell. So that will do it. A lot of information jammed into about nine minutes of video. If you liked it and you're not subscribed already for some weird reason, hit the subscribe button and tomorrow probably going to have a live attack for you guys. So stay tuned for that. That'll do it. Hope this helped you Town Hall 9s out there. Any questions can go in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.